Hey, people of hope. It's Pastor Mike, and I want to thank you for doing your devotional time with me here um, online. As our pastors met this morning, um, as we always do on Monday mornings, we're talking about all the events that happened this past weekend in the church, and then we began talking about the events that happened in our nation over this past weekend, and um, two of the events were terribly tragic. One was a shooting in, in Buffalo, perpetuated likely by by racism. And there was another event that they're still trying to figure out that happened, another shooting that happened in, in California. And we need to stop and we need to grieve with those who grieve. We need to mourn with those who mourn. We need to lift up those people that are hurting right here and right now. One of the other things that we think is really important to share is that there is no place for racism in the Christian church. None. As we begin approaching the liturgical day of Pentecost, we are reminded that there's neither Jew nor Greek, there's neither Gentile nor free. We're reminded that God is not playing favorites. We're reminded that the very word of God went out from one language into many languages. We're reminded that the, the church went from one central location of Jerusalem to the very ends of the earth, from one people to all peoples. There is no place for racism. And we're also reminded as we begin to think about this, that as Christian people empowered by his Holy Spirit, we pray thy kingdom come and we pray that it not only happens in us, but that it also that we get to partner with the Holy Spirit and that the kingdom of God comes through us and through our actions here in the world. That we would be Christ-like people bringing hope and strength to all people. What I want you to do at the end of this video is I want you to take time and I, I want you to lift up those who are hurting and I want you to grieve with those who grieve and mourn with those who mourn. And I want you in the Holy Spirit to go out and make a difference and build up this world for the kingdom of God, so that the name of Jesus will be known and his love will be felt to the ends of the earth. God bless you as we go about this mission and ministry together.